my first week selling full time as a my first week as a full time reseller went amazing. I know that not every week is going to be like this, especially in the summer, but I'm so excited to share what sold with you this week. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I am typically a full-time choir teacher during the school year, but since it is summer, I am a full-time reseller for the summer. And this week was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And that's for a number of reasons. And I know that not every week is gonna be like this, but there are so many things that have sold, so I need to just hurry up and get into it because already I can tell you that this video is gonna be ridiculously long. I apologize, hopefully you're doing something in the background, but hopefully you learn some tips and tricks from this video in regards to how to spark a lot of sales even when you are afraid that maybe it's summer slowdown or you just feel like you haven't been seeing a lot of sales in your closet lately. Hopefully some of the things that I did this week to generate some sales for myself will work for you. So let's just get right into it. I'm not going to be able to tell you that much about each piece just because like I said, there's a lot that's old and I don't want this to be like a three hour long video as much as I'm sure, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't enjoy that. So let's get right into it. Monday, June 3rd, I started off the week with a full price sale. I was so excited. It's an item that I picked up not too long ago at a Goodwill, and it's this black J. McLaughlin signature Catalina cloth shirt. Their Catalina cloth is what they're known for. It's like this really stretchy, thick fabric, very flattering. And at Goodwill, it was priced at, I believe it was $50. <laughs> and I took it up to the register and I said, is this real? Like, was it really supposed to be marked for $50? And they asked the manager and the manager was like no I think it was only supposed to be marked at $9.99 and it was half off that day so I got it for five and I turned five dollars into a forty dollar sale and I took home thirty three dollars and sixty cents on that shirt the next thing that sold is this J. Jill denim sleeveless dress. It was a size medium. I believe I picked it up at the fill -a bag consignment sale. It sold for $22, so I made $17.60. Next that day, I sold this Lululemon opti Optimal Tank optimal workout tank. It was a size 10. I believe it was the color like bruised berry or something like that. I got it a while ago at my favorite thrift store that does that fill a bag sale that is no longer. I believe it's shut down now and it sold for only $17. Lululemon tanks don't do very well anymore and I think it's because Poshmark is so saturated with them. Everyone and their mom is selling Lululemon tanks. So I only sold for $17 but I still made $13.60 off of that. And the last thing that sold on Monday was this pair of Keen hiking shoes. They were kids shoes. Um, They're like the waterproof ones and I thought that they were a size 13 because the there was no size tag or size on the shoe anywhere. I looked everywhere. I think that it was maybe on the side but it had rubbed off. So I measured it in centimeters and there are sizing charts online where they tell you what the size would be given how many centimeters the shoes are and someone offered me $13 for them and I made $10.05. Unfortunately, the buyer left a four-star rating and said that they didn't end up fitting her daughter, that they weren't marked correctly in terms of the size, but thankfully her son was able to fit into them, and so it could have gone much worse, but I should have been more careful when I picked them up. I got them at a garage sale, and I was just really excited because they were 50 cents, and I didn't check to make sure that there were things like sizes and all that kind of stuff. It's really hard to figure out what size a shoe is, if the size tag is missing or if the size isn't written anywhere, so just make sure how however excited you may be to find a brand, that it has all the information that you need in order to make the sale. So those were all of my sales for Monday, and it was a pretty good Monday. Starting on Tuesday, I knew that on Thursday, I was gonna have a 50% off of everything in my closet sale. Therefore, starting on Tuesday, I started sending out offers to likers on every single item in my closet for like 20 to 30% off. I figured I'd rather sell the items in my closet for 20 to 30% off versus 50% off. So I started going through from the bottom of my closet, 
just sending out offers to every single item and some items didn't have any likes or some items like the likes were um, there were no new likes so it's not like every item got offers to like or sent out on them but a lot of them did so a lot of these sales starting Tuesday were made as a result of sending out offers to likers on every single item in my closet that's one thing I would suggest if you are not making a lot of sales or you're just kind of in a rut go through your closet and send out offers to likers. So based off of that model, I sold a bunch of stuff on Tuesday. The first thing was this pair of Catherine Malandrino Veril Velvet Lace Up Pumps. They were in this black color with like a black heel. And as you can see, they laced up the front, like the top of the foot, which was really pretty. Um, I purchased these at Plato's Closet during their 90% off clearance sale. I got them for around a dollar, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. How did this work? Somehow, I think someone just sent me an offer for $20 on this item, so I made $14.20. The next thing that sold was this pair of J. Crew mint colored shorts. They were those chino shorts with a four inch inseam. They were a size 12, which is a larger size, and someone sent me an offer for $13. That's less than I wanted. I like to sell my shorts between like $15 and $18, but it was still more than 50% off of what I had them listed for, which was $18. So I accepted the offer and I made $8.25. I believe I picked that up at the Philip Bag consignment sale, but I could be super wrong. <laughs> Next up, I know for sure that I picked these up at the Philip Bag consignment sale. They are the Steve Madden for the cool people, Cortland wedges. Steve Madden's great because they tell you exactly what the name of each of their shoes are called. These were called the Cortland. They were a seven and a half and I sent out offers to likers on these for $24 with discounted shipping So I made $17.40. I think I originally had them listed for like 34 or 36 or something like that So about you know 20 to 30 percent off plus that discounted shipping still better than 50 percent off So I was happy with that sale next up. I sold Gosh, I sold a lot of shoes this day. I sold this pair of Brighton nude colored YOLO, I think that was the name of the shoe, Dior Say Heels in a size seven and a half. If you watched my vlog from last week, I had actually just picked these up at a garage sale maybe for like two dollars so I was really excited no it was they were for a dollar so I was really excited that these sold so quickly someone sent me an offer for twenty dollars which I happily accepted because I think I only had them listed for like twenty four so I made sixteen dollars on that sale this next sale was as a result of offers to likers for like 20 to 30 percent off of my original asking price and it was this dress from the limited it was sleeveless and kind of like peach colored just a really pretty sheath dress with like a textured fabric size four and i sent out offers to likers on this dress for 16 dollars with discounted shipping and i made 11 dollars on that sale oh i just dropped the phone on my finger oh well, I'm back. <laughs> what you don't know is that I just had to step away because my son woke up because he likes to do that while I'm trying to film. Um, he is sleeping right now after a long fun day of swimming and having a ton of people over from our church and stuff. But um, he's not a good sleeper. He sleeps best when we're snuggled together. So he will probably wake up again. I'll probably have to leave again. But I'm back after that. I also wanted to show you my shirt really quick. I thrifted this. It is Michael Scott from The Office, and it is a Threat Level Midnight shirt, and at the bottom it says, check please. Um, it's like one of my favorite episodes from The Office. It's the film that he wrote. I mean, I don't know why he did this. He did. He wrote it. And the majority of the episode where this film, Threat Level Midnight, is shown, it, like the episode is the film, and it's ridiculously funny. It's so good. So if you haven't seen that yet, you should. Let's keep going. Where did I leave off? I talked about the limited peach dress. Okay, so next up we had a pair of Bermuda shorts from Seven for All Mankind. They were distressed, they were cuffed I think, and they were a size 25. I got them at Goodwill a while ago. I've had these for a while. I thought that they would move a little faster. They did not, that's okay. I sent out offers on these bad boys for $15 with discounted shipping. I only made $10.20 on them. It's okay, we were trying to move stuff out for a little bit more than I would have got for them if they had sold during my half off sale. Next up was a bundle with three pieces. She had actually, sorry, there's like a little gnat or something flying around. She had visited my closet 
last week and she's shopping for like a big wedding extravaganza of her sisters or something, Sist I don't know. She'd started putting some pieces in her bundle and we would, you know, have different conversations. I sent her some different pieces too when she told me what she was looking for. And she actually, I, I honestly forgot about the fact that um, she had started that bundle with me. But she came back a few days later and she said, hey, um, I had a really bad experience on Poshmark very recently with someone, but I still wanted to uphold my promise to certain people on this platform that I was going to buy from them, and you are one of them. So, you know, these are the pieces that I want. What can you do for me in terms of a bundle price? Um, so I found that really interesting. One, that she found it really important to keep her promise, if you will, that she would buy something from me. If she hadn't, I totally would not have remembered. But I wanted to make sure that it was a really good experience for her, so I sent her a really good deal. It still wasn't like 50% off, but it was pretty close. And I just made sure to like take extra care with her packaging, as well as with the thank you card that I wrote for her. And she did get her package already. She sent me a really nice and wonderful love note. I'm hoping that I have redeemed Poshmark for her. So if she comes and visits your closets, you are welcome. I saved her for all of us. But she bought three pieces. Two of them are boutique pieces of mine. One is this blue kimono and it's got this floral print on it and it's got kind of this like lapel. It's a little bit longer. And all of my kimonos are one size fits all. And then the second kimono was this really pretty pink floral kimono. I had these in two different colors, but the other color sold out, so I'm left with these pink ones. And then the last piece that sold was this Neweth Tags Talbot's dress. It was green with a floral print. I had picked it up at the consignment fill a bag sale. It was gorgeous, so pretty. And at first she was saying that the person who was getting married really wanted everyone to wear pastel colors. And I was like, I have this dress that I think would be so perfect for this event. It's not pastel, it's pretty bright, but I still feel like it would be really fitting, especially for a summer wedding. I sent it to her, I put it in the bundle, and she was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And that's, you know, that's what she ended up picking up. So I'm so glad that she did. And the bundle, I sent her a price of $68 which she accepted, so I made $54.40. Next up on, what day is this? Tuesday, I sold a Massimo button-up denim skirt. Massimo is Target. It was a size 10. I sold it for $10. That was the offer that I sent out to Likers with discounted, sh uh, with discounted shipping. I only made $5.25 off that sale, but I was okay with that because I picked it up at a fill-a-bag sale. So I think I paid like a dollar for it. No, less than a dollar. So it's not a huge profit by all means, but I, I'm okay with that. $5 here and there, it all adds up. Next up, I picked up this pair of shorts from Forever 21. They were this light wash. They were very heavily distressed. I think you'd probably really call them destroyed. Someone sent me an offer for these of $12, which I happily accepted because that was definitely much more than I would have been able to sell them for during my 50% off sale. So I made $9.05 off of those shorts. And I believe that I picked those up at the fill -a bag sale as well. Moving on to Wednesday, June 5th. So Wednesday, I was continuing to send out offers to likers, and there were some offers to likers that I had sent out the day before that people had accepted on this day. You are gonna see some sales as a result of offers to likers. You're also gonna see one sale as a result of closet clear out because they were doing closet clear out that day as well. And if you haven't seen my latest tactic that I use for closet clear out, I will try to link that video somewhere, but also I'm gonna have a video coming up this week where I talk about how to run successful sales, and I may also include in there just a little bit of information about how I use Closet Clear Out and offers to likers to increase my sales as well. If you'd be interested in something like that, let me know in the comment section down below. But Wednesday was also a pretty good sales day. So the first thing that sold was because of offers to likers, and it was this American Apparel skirt. It was like a blue plaid print and it was called the chiffon skirt um, I sent out offers to likers on it for $13 with discounted shipping so I made $8.25 in a previous video I talked about how I had picked up a lot of 
Oh, I don't remember how many now. I think it was like 13 coach purses as well as a random Nine West purse and a Michael Kors dress. I picked all that up from a colleague of mine at my school and I paid $200 for all that. Um, the coach bags honestly have been taking quite some time to sell. So I don't know that it was like the best pickup ever, but you live and you learn. And um, I sold this Coach Parker Op Art Black Satchel, that's like the exact listing word for word, for $20 and I made $16 off of that. I think some, I mean, some Someone must have sent me an offer for it because I did not offer discounted shipping so I believe someone sent me the offer and I just accepted this next sale was a result of closet clear out I just listed this Vera Bradley Cambridge print messenger bag I had just picked it up at a garage sale from last week's vlog Vera Bradley is pretty desirable I feel like my first sale on Mercari was a Vera Bradley bag and it had not even been listed for like 30 minutes and then someone bought it at full price. I probably didn't price it high enough, I don't know. But I had this bag priced at $34, I believe, and someone liked it and I sent them a message saying, hey, this is my new closet clear out tactic, okay? I'm about to give it to you right now. You'll probably hear it again in like a couple days, but I'm gonna give it to you right now. So what I do is, if it's closet clear out and someone likes an item, I will send them a message saying, hey, today's closet clear out. As a result, I can lower the price to X amount of dollars, and by doing so, you will receive a discounted shipping price because Poshmark is gonna cover $1.80 off of your shipping. Would you be interested in that? And sometimes they respond with, yes, I would. In which case, I lower the price, and they accept that new price, and I make the sale, and I don't have to pay for discounted shipping, which is awesome. $1.80 is not that much, but all of those dollar and 80 cents add up. I mean, they do eat into your profit a little bit, so it's always nice when you can have Poshmark pay for discounted shipping on their end. So that's what I did for this skirt, skirt, bag. That's what I did for this bag. It was $34. I told her I would drop the price to 30. She said, okay. So I made $24 on that bag. Next up, we have this pair of joggers from Ellie Tahari, Ellie Tahari, that was better. Ellie Tahari for Design Nation. They were these tweed joggers with like a black panel on the side of the hips. They were really cool. I was so excited when I found them at the consignment sale and then really sad when I hauled them and realized that they were Ellie Tahari for Design Nation. Regardless, someone sent me an offer for $19 and I made $15.20 on those pants. Next up was this Lululemon Speed Track Mosaic layering short. They were kind of like a biker short. They had a much longer inseam than a lot of their other shorts. Someone who actually is a viewer, so thank you so much, she saw that on Instagram I had posted something about my 50% off sale that was gonna be happening the next day, and she just got too excited. So she sent me a half off offer the day before. And I mean, at that point, am I gonna be like, no, you must wait for the correct time of this, I mean, whatever, it's like, and she was like, oh, whoopsie, I didn't realize you said, you know, from this time to this time on this certain day, I'll come back. And I was like, it's fine. Like, I'll just accept your offer right now. So she sent me an offer of $17, which was half off of my original asking price, which means I took home $13.60. So if you're watching, thank you so much for your purchase. The next thing that sold, I hauled these in my... What video was that? I hauled these in my consignment full of bag sale and I love them. They're so pretty. It was these Cole Haan leopard print calf hair wedges and they were called the Laney wedge. They were a size seven. Someone sent me an offer for $25, which I happily accepted and I made $20 on that sale. Gorgeous, gorgeous wedges. Next up was this Victoria's Secret push-up paisley bikini top. Did you know it's Victoria's Secret? I swear I'd always called it Victoria's Secrets. Victoria's Secrets, but it's Victoria's Secret. The secret belongs to Victoria. Anyway, um, it was a size medium. Someone sent me an offer for $15. I think I had them priced pretty high at like $24 or something, but $15, so I made $12 on that sale. We're almost done with Wednesday. I feel like we're moving pretty fast, but I'm sure I can move faster. So here we go. Torrid. <laughs> My next sale was this Torrid embroidered shirt. It was like a cold shoulder shirt with like a little strap, size two, which in Torrid language means 2X or 2XL. I don't really know the difference, by the way, between like X or 
XL or XXL because sometimes it'll say like 2X versus 2XL. If you know the difference, please let me know in the comment section down below because I don't want to make a mistake, especially if it is a big difference. Um, this person sent me a pretty low offer. I had it originally listed for like $22, I think. And the person sent me, I think, an $8 offer. And I was like, no, nah, girl. <laughs> like, even if you're buying this because you are following me on Instagram and you saw that I'm having a 50% off sale, eight is not half of 22. So I countered at, I think I countered at like 15. And then she came back with 11. So I was like, yep, that's that's a good spot because that's half off. So I made $8.05 after accepting that $11 offer. The last thing that sold on Wednesday was a four for $25 bundle. So if you don't know, in my closet, I do have this everlasting sale going on. I will talk about it in my upcoming video about having sales on Poshmark. But essentially, I have a bunch of items at the bottom of my closet that are listed for for $25. And this person bundled four of those items together, and so she got them for the price of $25. So the first thing that sold in this bundle was this INC, or maybe it's called Ink, but it is, I think it stands for International Concepts, which is a Macy's brand. It's like Macy's in-house brand, and it's just the simple black ruched shirt. Someone gave this to me for free, and I just listed it. Um, the next thing that sold was this white and black knit infinity scarf. I don't remember if there was a brand to that. I don't think that there was. Another friend, a different friend, gave this scarf to me, so we're two for two right now for free inventory. Next up was this Discours. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but you'll see the tag here, over here. Um, and it was called the Silky Scarf or something like that. Um, again, given to me. And finally, it was this H-Y-F-V-E. It looks like High Five. I don't know. I think it's a Korean brand. And it was this oversized striped shirt, again, given to me by a friend. So all four of these items were given to me for free. It's a lot of those kinds of items that end up in my four for $25 sale. So this $25 sale got me $20. And that $20 is pure profit because I did not pay to purchase any of the inventory at thrift stores or anything like that. Okay, so Thursday was the big day. Thursday, I had a sale in my closet where everything was 50% off. Everything I said $10 and more. Like you had to have a minimum balance of $20 in your bundle. Or sorry, a minimum balance of $10 in your bundle in order for me to consider giving you 50% off. But I did 50% off of everything and I did it only between the hours of 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And I'll talk more about my reasoning behind all of that in upcoming videos because there just isn't time for that in this video but it went really well. I've had sales before where I've made like a few sales, but this was a really profitable sale for me, so I'm really excited to share with you what sold, as well as to share with you what I did to help make this a profitable sale. And like I said, that video is coming up. So the first thing that sold was not a part of the sale, but it was a four for $25 item. She didn't find four items that she wanted, but she offered me $8 for this dress by Gap, and it's like this fluorescent pink dress, and I believe it was a size extra small. I like to wear obnoxiously bright and loud colors like this, and so I assume that everyone does, but I think it takes a special person to want to wear this dress. I thought it was really cute, but I'm glad that someone finally picked it up, so I made $5.05 .05 off of that sale. I did get it at a fill -a bag sale, so I paid around a dollar for it. Next up, this was a result of the 50% off sale. It was a purse by Angela Frascone. It's one of my last pieces from the garage sale that I had with students a while back. And it came with like a scarf tied around the handle as well as some die cuts of things like purses and heels and stuff like that. It was really interesting. I had it listed for $28, so they sent me an offer of $14 and I made $11.05 off of that sale. The next sale was actually sold to one of my daughter's former daycare teachers, which is really cool. And like right at four o'clock, right when the sale started, she sent me the offer and it was just really sweet of her. It was this pair of Gap Factory four inch inseam shorts. They were also a part of my four for $25 sale. Um, they were a size 12. I had them listed for $10, so she sent me an offer of five, and I made $2.05 off of that pair of shorts. I've had that pair of shorts 
for well over a year. So I was really happy to see them go to a new home and to someone that I knew. So I'm just really, really excited. So thank you, Tori. You are awesome. Next up, I sold this bundle of three pieces. The first one was a Daniel Rain white Swiss dot shirt, and it had like really pretty embroidery on it, and it was a size medium. The next shirt was this Entro, which is a boutique brand, really pretty gingham, cold shoulder, puffed sleeve blouse. Just a really cool shirt. Um, again, a size medium. I believe I picked that one up at the consignment sale, and I think that the Daniel Rain shirt that I just talked about also was picked up at that pop-up consignment sale. And then the last thing in this bundle was this really pretty Bowden dress. It was a maxi dress with like green flowers on it, Empire waist, jersey dress, size eight. So I believe that the bundle was originally for $82, so she sent me an offer of $41, and I made $32.80 off of that sale. The next sale was also a bundle sale. It was two Madewell pieces. The first one was this embroidered top. It was called the Cosbe top, and it had really pretty embroidery along like the neckline and it had kind of this open V. There was a small spot on it, but I disclosed that um, it was a size extra small. And then the second thing that sold in this bundle was this pair of Madewell denim shorts. They were cut off shorts. I had actually purchased them off of Poshmark, but they didn't quite fit me the way that I wanted them to. So I listed them and that bundle sold for $17. So I made $13.80. After that, I sold this American Eagle black embroidered dress with like bell sleeves. Um, it's a size extra small. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I love picking up American Eagle denim. At the beginning of my reselling journey, I thought that because the denim was doing so well, like all American Eagle must just do really well. It does not. <laughs> Basically, like if it's not American Eagle denim, shorts or jeans, I have a hard time moving it. So at the beginning of my reselling journey, I did pick up like most American Eagle stuff if it was really cute. So I have like dresses and I have rompers and I have shirts and they just don't move. It takes a really long time for them to sell. And when they do sell, they don't sell for very much. So maybe you have better luck, I don't know. I'm not here to tell you what you should and should not pick up. I'm just telling you what works for me. And their denim moves really well, their dresses and stuff do not. So I had this listed for $18 and that was actually me relisting it. So someone sent me an offer of $9 and I made $6.05 off of that sale. Next, we have another bundle, and it was three pieces. The first was this pair of New With Tags Hudson jeans, and they were these signature boot cut flat pocket jeans, and they were white. I had found these at the consignment boutique fill a bag sale, and they were the ones that I found like underneath the spinny rack in a box. They were gonna like keep filling, you know, the empty space in the rack, but I saw the little Hudson flag and I was like, nope, those are coming home with me. So I paid less than a dollar for those, which was really exciting. Um, or maybe I paid a little over a dollar, I don't remember, but I paid very little for those. Um, the next item was a Nike Pro Combat fitted dry fit half zip pullover in a size large. I've had this for quite some time. Nike stuff is so hit or miss for me. It either sells like right away or I sit on it for a really long time. And this I've sat on for probably close to a year. So I don't know, like I thought it was really nice and I relisted it too. So I don't know. And then the last thing that I picked up was this new with tags wool rich olive green pants in a size 10. And that bundle sold for $59, so I made $47.20 off of that bundle. Next up is another bundle, and it was a pair of pink leggings, like bubblegum pink. They were really interesting, by Adidas, and they did have like those reflective stripes on them and whatnot. I've had these for so long, like well over a year. And then the second thing that sold was this Chico's Traveler's Black Cardigan. I did pick this up at the most recent fill a bag sale at the consignment boutique that I tried out for the first time. She sent me an offer of $22 and so I made $17.60. By the way, one thing I'm not gonna do in this video at the end is I'm not gonna share the stats from each of those three hauls that I've been um, keeping track of just because I don't have time to go through this whole list of um, items to see what sold where as well as you know what everything adds up to so that's probably the end of me tracking those three hauls if I'm being honest with you um, I apologize if you really enjoyed that but it just 
got to be very time consuming and I'd rather spend that time listing and you know doing the things that actually make me money. Anyway, um, the next thing that sold was also a bundle and it was two pairs of shoes. One was this pair of Madden Girl five inch wedges in black and then the bottom was like a brown, I believe. Um, they were size eight and a half. I got those from a former student's sister. <laughs> so I had bought stuff from my former student when she was leaving for college last year and then her sister reached out to me this year and said, hey, I know you bought stuff from my sister before. I have some stuff. Do you wanna take a look at it and see if you'd be willing to buy them from me? Um, so I bought, you know, maybe like $75 dollars worth of stuff from her I don't remember and then the last thing in that bundle was this um, pair of Steve Madden leather striped wedges and they were called the pea pod <laughs> and they were a size eight and a half as well and I picked those up at the fill a bag fill a bag fill a bag fill a bag consignment sale as well it's like 11 o'clock I'm really tired so I apologize that I've like forgotten how to talk um that bundle came out to $50, so they sent me an offer of $25, and I made $20 off of those two pairs of shoes. Another bundle, and this was three pieces. The first was this LuLaRoe dress that I've had forever. I am no longer picking up LuLaRoe. I don't care how cute it is, nobody wants it. So it was this dress, it was the Julia dress, and it had blue and green stripes. It was a size large. Next up was this red and gold lightweight metallic fringe scarf, and I believe this was given to me by a friend for free. And then the last thing was this Gap brown genuine leather studded belt in a size medium, and that bundle came out to $22, so I made $17.60 off of that sale. Um, we have a couple more like single items coming up. So the first was this new with tags ASOS, ASOS. Someone please tell me how to say that brand. I think it's ASOS, but um, it was this ASOS bodycon lace dress and it had the sweetheart, ne sweetheart neckline. I got this at the Play-Doh's clearance sale a while back, maybe just like a few months back. It was a size eight. Um, I had it listed for $30, so she sent me an offer of $15, which I accepted, and I made $12 off of that sale. The next single item that I sold was this pair of Gap skinny mini olive khaki ankle zipper pants. <laughs> Again, that's like the listing word for word. Um, I had them listed for $18, so she sent me an offer of $9, and I made $6.05 off of those pants. My friend gave those to me for free, so $6.05 of pure profit. Next up, we had like the most monstrous bundle. It was a nine piece bundle and I was super thankful for it. However, one thing I did not really consider was the fact that because it was such a big bundle, it was over five pounds. It was eight pounds. So I had to pay, I think it was $11 extra for shipping and handling. I could be wrong. So you'll see like in my numbers, I just, did, I subtracted $11 from my profit so, I mean, she got a steal on these items. She got some good items and she got them for a steal. So let's talk about what she got. She did get four of the four for $25 items and I did not specify in my sale listing or my sale thing on Instagram, I didn't specify that you couldn't take half off of the $25 sale. So I, when she sent me the offer, at first I was like, this is really low. But then I calculated it taking 50% off of that $25 sale of those four items. And then I understood how she came up with this price. And I was fine letting everything go for the prices that they went. It was fine. My biggest reason why I had this sale was to just like move stuff out. I was getting into like having over 700 active listings. That's not fun to share over 700 active listings. And so I was just really interested in moving stuff out, getting new stuff in, and I definitely accomplished that. So even though I sold these pieces for pretty low, I'm okay with it. The first thing was in my four for $25 sale, and it was this pair of Banana Republic Factory straight leg jeans in a size four. These jeans didn't get any attention. Like no one was liking them. No one had any intention of ever buying them. So I'm glad that she picked those up. Next up, um, this was all also in that four for $25 sale. And it was this anthropology cardigan. It was by the brand Moth and it was really cute. Size extra small. It had polka dots all over it and it also had like just this ombre shift of colors from top to bottom. I realized when I pulled this item from my inventory and started packing it up 
that there was a hole in the back, like on the back of one of the shoulders. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm like packaging up your bundle right now and I'm noticing that there's a hole. Do you want me to cancel the transaction? Do you want to replace it with something else? And she was like, oh my gosh, like I'm just so thankful that you accepted my offer to begin with. It's fine, like I can stitch it up, no problem, just send it as is. So I was really thankful that that was her response to me. The next item that sold was this pair of anthropology shorts by the brand Cartonnier. Car Cartonnier, I, I don't know how to say it. You can see the brand here. And it was this really cute pair of elephant print shorts in a size four. And then there was also this J. Crew wool blend cream scarf. My friend had given this to me before she moved to Chicago, so that was free to me. Next up, this is also from that old student's sister, and it was this pair of airy leggings. My students wear airy leggings all the time. Airy is like that sub brand of American Eagle, and my students say that their leggings are so comfortable. I actually really, I want to try getting a pair and just seeing if you know they're right, but these um, were really cool. They were called the Chill Play Move leggings, and they were color blocked, and they were a size medium. Um, next, we have another item from my four for twenty-five dollar sale, and this was actually from the mom of the former students that I keep talking about. So now I've bought stuff from like, you know, three members of their family. Um, and it was this really nice tan quilted vest. The problem with it was that there was no tag. So it didn't have a size, it didn't have a brand. I don't know what it's made out of, but it was really nice. I guesstimated that it was a medium. And obviously in the listing, I put that I was guessing that it was a medium based off of the measurements and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it was really nice. Next up was a Gap chambray dress in a size extra small. I had this for quite some time, so I was about ready to move it into my four for $25 sale, but before I did that, she snatched it up. Next up is an item from my four for $25 sale, American Eagle. It's not jeans, so it's been in my closet for a very long time, and it's this corduroy tan jacket. Corduroy also is not like super popular right now, so that's probably also why it didn't move. And then finally, this pair of Urban Outfitters Silence and Noise Camel Leggings. I did pick these up pretty recently at the consignment sale. So all of those items, she sent me an offer of $60, which I was fine with. However, I had to take $11 off of that because I had to pay extra for shipping because it was well over five pounds. So I only made $37 off of that nine piece bundle. That's okay though. A lot of those pieces I've had for a little bit longer. One of those items is free to me. It's all gravy, we're good. The next sale was another two piece bundle and the first was this splendid maxi dress. It was called the Glen Valley Maxi Dress and it had a racer back to it, striped. It was a size small. I did pick this up at the consignment boutique fill a bag sale. And then the last item in that bundle was this pair of page jeans. They were the Laurel Canyon boot cut jeans in a size 29. I've had those for quite some time. Actually, no, I haven't had them for too long. And this is my second time selling that exact pair of jeans. That's pretty cool when you start to notice that you're picking up like the exact same thing again because you found it at the thrift store again. That's when you feel like you've made it. You know, like you've been doing this for a pretty long time. So the offer was sent to me for $30 and I made $24 on that sale. Another two-piece bundle. The first item was another boutique item. It was this floral and leaf print kimono. Super lightweight, super perfect for the beach. I do still have some in my closet, so if you're looking for something to wear to the beach or to the pool, I got you. I got you. Visit my closet and you'll see a bunch of kimonos in there. And then the last thing was this Brandy Melville shirt. It was like a longer black and white striped shirt. Someone gave this to me. It was a friend of mine from St. Louis, which is where I went to high school. And so I got an offer on those two items for $26 and I made $20.80. Another three piece bundle. The first was this plaid shirt by Woolrich and it was high low. It was black and white, black and gray. I don't remember, you'll see it here size medium nope was it it is it's a plaid shirt it's like button up you, you get you get what I'm saying next up was this Nike golf white dry fit pullover I got this I think from my mother-in-law actually and I don't think that she golfs, so I don't know why she has this but 
she had it and she gave it to me. It was a size medium and I had this in my four for $25 sale originally, but then I very recently relisted it and I did not put it back in that sale because it's golf season, like people are out golfing and I was hoping that someone would pick it up for more than how much I had it listed for originally. And then the last item that sold is also from the consignment boutique fill a bag sale. And it was this Ralph Lauren blue label sleeveless button up shirt, green and white horizontal, nope, vertical, <laughs> vertical is this way, vertical stripes. And that bundle sold for $36. So I made $28.80. We have another two piece bundle, but it turned into three and I'll tell you why. So my brother's friend gave me a bunch of stuff and one of them was this pretty interesting t-shirt. I called it art to wear because it was like a 3D shirt in the sense that it was a man pulling a suitcase and the suitcase like there was like a flap on the suitcase and you could like lift it. And then the man pulling the suitcase, he wore this belt and like the hardware, like the buckle on the belt was like made out of real hardware. So it was like the shirt was coming out at you with different elements, if that makes sense. So I called it art to wear. And then there was also this um, bravado shirt that I picked up a graphic tee with the who. I picked it up because the empty hanger always picks up graphic tees of bands by the brand Bravado. So I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to sell so fast. It did not. Like I've had it in my closet since February, I think. I don't know. It's been quite some time. That's okay. What sells well for some people does not sell well for others. And I can't assume that just because she's able to sell that stuff really well, I'll be able to too. That's not how it works. But finally someone did pick it up. Now what happened was I did pull both of those items and I started packaging them up and I realized that on that art to wear shirt, the buckle on that belt of the man in the shirt had like rusted and the rust had gotten onto the shirt itself. So like, there were rust orange spots on the shirt and I knew that they weren't supposed to be there obviously. So again, I reached out to the buyer and I told her what had happened and I told her you can either cancel your transaction obviously or if you want I'll just send you, like you can find something else in my closet that is around that same price point and I'll send you that instead. I'll send it to you in addition in fact. So she responded and she said, you know, obviously I'm really disappointed. I was really looking forward to wearing that shirt actually because I think she said she's a flight attendant. So it really spoke to her on a personal level to have this shirt of someone traveling with like, you know, pulling the suitcase. But she said, you know, I am thankful for your honesty. Thank you for letting me know. And she picked out this purple Soma dress. And so I sent her that as well. So that two piece bundle turned into a three piece bundle. But when you're reselling and you're in this business and especially when you want repeat customers, you need to go above and beyond to make sure that your customers are happy and especially when you've made the error like you didn't realize a flaw on an article of clothing you have to do what you can to show them that one you're not going to send them junk and that you have high standards and two that you're going to do what it takes to make it right. So hopefully she appreciates the gesture that I made in sending her that free item and hopefully she comes back to my closet. Oh my gosh, we're getting to the end, people. <laughs> so one of the last things that sold on that Thursday was actually a full price sale. So, you know, I had like amazing sales all day because of my sale. And then the night ended with someone buying the skirt at full price. And the skirt was from Mod Cloth and it was by the brand Alice Moon and it was called the Essential Elegance Full Skirt. This skirt had so many likes on it and actually one of my tactics for having a profitable sale was to go into items that had a lot of likes like this skirt and I went through all of the people who had liked it and I went to their closets and I created, sorry my eye is like really tired. I made bundles for each of the people that liked this skirt and I put the skirt in that bundle and I added the listing of my sale in that bundle and I sent them a message telling them about my sale. I think that this skirt had like 28 likes on it or something. So I was positive that after sending 28 different people that message about my sale that at least one of them would buy it when it was half off. No one did. And then some random person came in after my sale, someone who had not liked the skirt before and she bought it at full price. 
I will take that all day. So I ended up making $22.40 off of that $28 full price sale. Later that evening, I also sold this pair of Cole Haan patent leather block heel pumps, and they had that Nike Air technology in them. They were a size seven. I sold them for $24, and I made $19.20 off of that sale. I did pick those up at um, Goodwill, and actually, like, I just posted a haul a couple days ago. That was from having gone to Goodwill twice, once with my husband, once with one of my friends in town, and I actually picked these up the last time that I went to Goodwill with my husband. I just forgot to put them in the thrift haul, and I think, actually, anyway, they had sold before I created that thrift haul, so I had originally listed them for 48, and I had done that same thing that I talked about with the skirt. I had, you know, made bundles and put these shoes in the bundle, and I had you know, sent them a little spiel about my sale, whatever. This girl just didn't get on her Poshmark app until later that night and she's like, oh shoot, I just saw this. Um, I guess I'll catch it, you know, in the next sale. And I was like, if you want them at half off right now, I'll give it to you for half off. So she said, yes, I would love them. And so she sent me the $24 offer and that's why I made $19.20 off of these pairs of shoes, which was very exciting. So another super exciting thing about this Thursday was that it was my first Mercari sale in like God only knows how long. I wanna say in over a month. So somebody sent me an offer for this pair of Seven For All Mankind bootcut jeans and they sent me an offer for $20, which I happily accepted because they were gonna pay shipping and I think shipping was like $11 or something crazy like that. So I made $18 off of that Mercari sale. I really should like get back to cross listing on Mercari. I was just having such bad luck over there that I was like, I don't wanna waste my time anymore. But now that I have more time with it being the summer, I really should. We'll see, we'll see what I do. Moving on to June 7th, which was Friday. It was not as exciting of a sales day as Thursday, but that's okay, you can't get greedy when you have great days like Thursday. So the first thing that sold was actually a three-piece bundle, and it was, again, kind of a residual effect of my sale. I think that this person had, this person had like been in class or something when the sale was going on, so of course I let her still buy these three items at half off. The first was this Newest Tags American Eagle Embroidered Lace Cami Tank in a size extra small. Again, American Eagle when it's not jeans. It just, I've had this for a really long time and it's really pretty, but no one was buying it. But this person finally bought it, so thank you. Next up was this H&M Divided Floral Off the Shoulder Cropped Top and it was in a size two. Someone from my church gave me this top for free. What I didn't realize was that it was actually also new with tags, and I realized that as I went to package it. I didn't know that because my student photographer was the one who had taken pictures of this top, so she and I both missed the fact that they were new with tags, so what are you gonna do? And then lastly, this person picked up this Forever 21 gray cropped long sleeve shirt and it was really interesting because it had like a drawstring in the middle of the shirt on the front so like you pull on the drawstring and then it changes the length of the shirt so it kind of turns it into this crop shirt and that was in a size small all three of those shirts are mall brands like fast fashion mall brands you know it's what was it, it was american eagle h&m and forever 21 a lot of people don't like to carry those kinds of items in my closet i definitely don't like seek them out but when people especially give them to me for free or if there are really cute items that i can get for very cheap for example at a fill a bag sale at the bins yeah i'll pick them up all day because forever 21 it sells h&m it sells and it can sell for like a decent amount and people are actively seeking them out a lot of times so you know don't what's What's the phrase? Don't plug your nose at, don't, whatever. Don't think that you're too good and whatever for those brands. The bundle was for $25, so I made $20 off of those three pieces. The last thing that sold on Friday, June 7th, was this NFL team apparel jersey, and it was for the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears had a great season last year, so hopefully they keep that up. It was in a size extra large, and someone sent me an offer of $15, which was a lot lower than I would have liked to get for this, but I've had it for a while, so I was ready to just let it go. So I made $12 off of that shirt. 
Moving on to Saturday, I only had one sale and it came really late at night, so I was really close to having a $0 sales day on Saturday. But someone sent me an $11 offer on this J. Crew gingham shirt. It's just like a men's button down shirt. Button down shirts are so hard for me to move. I don't know, and I have a lot of them. And a lot of them were given to me for free, including I believe this one by my friend who like has given me bags and bags of great men's clothes. Um, but yeah, the button down and button up shirts, they're, they're a hard sell on Poshmark. I don't really know why that is. But um, they did send me an offer for $11, so I made $8.05 on Saturday. And then finally, today is Sunday, and I sold a few things. The first one being this bundle of three pieces. She liked all three of them, so I created a bundle for her and I sent her an offer and she accepted, so that was really exciting. The first two items I actually picked up at the same time, I believe at the, it was at a pretty recent thrift haul, either fill a bag or the consignment sale, but they were these pair of pleated linen blend shorts from J. Crew Factory and they were striped so the first pair was blue and white striped and the second pair was red and white striped and they were both a size six so you could tell that they were probably from the same person and my hope in getting both of those was that the same person would bundle them together and that's exactly what happened and then the last thing that sold in this bundle was this pair of linen blend shorts as well by Cynthia Raleigh they were this adorable like kind of orangey coral color with like scallop hems at the bottom it's just really really pretty one of the little scallops was kind of coming undone I obviously took a picture of it and disclosed it but all three shorts were just really really cute perfect for the summer so I sent them an offer of $42 on those three pairs of shorts which they accepted so I made $31.80 on those three pairs of shorts yay Next, I sold this pair of mini Bowden cropped jeans. They were in a size seven and they had an elastic waist with like red and cream stripes or something. Um, they were really, really cute. And I know mini Bowden is a pretty desirable kids clothing brand. Um, there are a few people at my church that will just give us a bunch of clothes for my daughter and whatever my daughter is like, mm, I don't really like that. I typically will just donate it because that's what the people at my church have asked me to do. Or, and they know that I sell on Poshmark, they're like, you can sell it on Poshmark if you want to. Or if it's brands like Mini Bowden or Nike or something like that, I will take the time to list them and put them up in my Poshmark closet. So I sent out offers to likers on these jeans for $12 and someone accepted. So after discounted shipping, I made $7.25. A common theme in this video is that a lot of the items that I have sold are given to me for free by friends. So I know I've said this before in a multitude of videos, but don't be shy about telling people what you do. Don't be shy about asking people for stuff that they don't want anymore because there might be a lot of garbage, but there might be a couple items that you can resell or maybe a lot of items that you can resell. You know, if they're your friend, they want you to succeed and they want you to do well in life. And so a lot of those people will just give you stuff for free. And so even if you're not selling items for that much, it's all pure profit. There's a lot of stuff in my closet that have been given to me for free from my friends and I'm really thankful for them. And I don't take that for granted. I know that I'm really blessed to have inventory that I got that way. The only reason I was able to get it though is because I put myself out there and I made Facebook statuses that said, hey, if you have clothes lying around your house, like I will take it off of your hands, I will come and pick it up. And like I said, I'm very vocal about the fact that I am reselling on Poshmark and so people know that and they have clothes that they wanna get out of their homes, especially after that Marie Kondo special that was on Netflix, I think still is on Netflix. My trunk right now actually is like filled to the brim with clothes from someone at my church because she just has all of this stuff that she's trying to get rid of. Even if I don't end up keeping half of it, it's still free inventory. So I don't know, put yourselves out there. You never know what'll happen. But anyway, the last thing that has sold so far today, and maybe another sale or two will trickle in, but probably not. It's like 11.45 at this point. But it's this pair of Mossimo, which again is from Target, distressed short alls. Short alls are like overalls, but they're shorts. They were a size large. I got them on my last thrifting trip with my friend. I sent out offers to likers on those short alls for $14. So after discounted shipping, I made $9.25. I think I bought those for $3 if I remember correctly. So I only made $6.25 off of those, but 
hey, I will take it. I will take it all day. So now the part that you are probably most interested in, how much did I make this week? I made a total of, and this is the amount that is going into my bank account. That's always usually the only number I share with you guys is like what's going in my bank account. I made $793.50. Like what, 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 what? For some people that's nothing. Like I know Rachel over at the Curated Tomato, she made $2,400 in like two hours or something. That was one of her YouTube videos. I made $2,400 in two hours. I don't know that I will ever see those kinds of sales, especially because I'm not like really full-time. I mean, I'm like kind of full-time right now. Um, I also don't really have access to a lot of higher end brands and different things like that. My business model really is to list whatever I can that will make me some money. So even if I'm listing Target stuff, even if I'm listing stuff that I got for free from friends that I'm only gonna make a few dollars off of, I'm okay with that because all of that is money that I did not have before the sale. Some people will only pick up items that will make them 20 or 30 or 40 dollars and they have kind of this clear cut like you're not going to make me 25 dollars so i'm not going to pick you up i definitely don't operate like that i definitely like to just kind of fill my closet and i like to get stuff for free from people and put those items in my closet even if they're not going to make me very much and i'm okay with that everyone has a different business model and you can only do you and i'll do me so 793 dollars and 50 cents in one week that's amazing to me. I'm just so thankful and so blessed. So if you are watching and you bought something from me this past week or ever, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you because you make my day. Like every time I make a sale, I'm so excited. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have a couple videos coming up this week. One will be how to do sales on Poshmark. And then my last one will be some sort of vlog. Yeah. So if you're interested in those things, make sure that you're subscribed. If you enjoy this video, please make sure that you like it. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss any content from me, make sure that you hit that little bell button so that you get notified every time I put up some new content. Also, if you wanted to check out my Poshmark closet, it is Becky Park. You just type that in into Poshmark in the search bar and you will be able to find my closet there. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are having amazing sales as well and that summer slowdown is not affecting you too much. And if it is, make sure that you check out my sales video so that you can learn how to boost traffic, boost sales, and boost profit in your own Poshmark closet. Thanks again and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!